As a fellow SAP professional, you know how critical training is to your career and the well-being of the companies to which you contribute. At MySAPSkills.com, we've assembled some of the most talented and seasoned multinational experts to bring you a premier e-learning experience, no matter where you are in your career. Our rich and comprehensive training materials are designed to help you quickly grasp complex concepts by presenting relevant examples leading to responsible and efficient implementations. Each of our videos are laser focused at just 10 to 30 minutes and are complemented by a complete library of supportive PDF materials. With My SAP Skills as your e-learning partner, you'll have access to all SAP niche modules. From SAP Master Data Governances and SAP ABAP on HANA to Advanced ABAP and more. Our methodology makes learning easy. Stay tuned until after this video and I'll share more about how MySAPSkills.com will elevate your skills, your career, and your personal success. To our introduction tutorial of Master Data Governance. I am Sophia, and today I am going to brief you about SAP Master Data Governance Overview. In this video, we will understand the major challenges of any organization, which they face while managing their business data, and how SAP Master Data Governance process can help to solve these issues. Let's first talk about the main organizational master data challenges. All lines of business are impacted by master data quality issues. There are several organizationals and roles such as, finance, sales, IT, and supply chain, are impacted due to bad data quality and maintenance issue. In finance management, every finance officers have to deal with inconsistent financial master data across the enterprise. They have to put lots and lots of manual efforts to update financial master data in local financial systems. They also have huge risk on non-compliance to IFRS, SOX etc. Lack of transparency about any master data changes like Who has changed the data? What data has been changed? When these data has been changed? And most importantly, why these data got changed? Are one of the leading challenges while maintaining the business master data. In sales department, senior VP of sales, or senior VP of marketing also have lack of consistent consolidated view of customer data, across all channels. Customer transactions are compromised due to a limited view of the facts. They usually have to bear high costs, due to insufficient supplier selection and rationalization. In IT sector as well, chief information officer or CIO of the organization, have to deal with high master data maintenance costs. They also have multiple system requirements to manage master data in different domains. Lack of flexibilities in dynamic business environment is big challenge in the field of information and technologies. In the supply chain and planning system, low visibilities on suppliers and products is a main concern. They certainly face huge costs due to rationalizations and lack of supplier selections. Loss of potential for benefit realization like discounts, conditions, central contracts etc., and lack of complete availabilities of master data in the business, put supply chain and planning management system on more risk. 
To overcome all these business challenges, customers approaches to SAP Master Data Management. Let's see first, what is SAP Master Data Governance? SAP Master Data Governance or simply SAP MDG is a state-of-the-art master data management solution, provides central ownership of master data, in line with the company's business rules and processes. The applications allow for managing of master data, that is ready to use within SAP and non-SAP environments. How can SAP MDG help business? SAP Master Data Governance offers centrally governed and consolidate master data for the enterprise. Let's understand why we needed a centralized master data management system. It helps to reduce the capital costs by eliminating redundant maintenance efforts and duplicate data. It also helps to achieve the consistent and clear view on manufacturing, procurement, and sales-related data volumes. SAP MDG improves the consistency of data creation, transparency in process, changes and availability of up-to-date master data across the business network. Let's take a look at the SAP Master Data Governance Simplified Process Flow. As we can see on screen, we can simplify the governance mechanism in a three-layer structure. At the first point, an external service provider connects to SAP Master Data Governance to verify all sorts of organizational master data. In the maintenance process of master data first creates a change request and stores business data in the SAP MDG staging area. Staging area is an MDG database where all the inactive maintenance data are stored during the master data validation process. SAP MDG conducts various tests on the reuse of existing business logic, the incorporation of external resources for data enrichment, address validations, cleansing and the duplicate data detection etc. during the validation process. It also has features such as data sharing, adaptable workflow designing to validate business data from the right organization source, auditable change process, where we can easily verify all workflow phases, and data change log at one place. This ensures consistency of business data throughout the process, and only the final approved business data gets saved in the SAP MDG Active Master Database. After that, the correct valid business data will be automatically replicated to the requested or linked SAP or non-SAP system, based on the business design. After successful replication, local enterprise systems shall adopt the approved data of this organization for their local business. In this way, they are fully assured that the local business uses error-free, fully checked and business approved data. I hope that you now have a better understanding about the organization's common business issues, the need for SAP Master Data Governance, the main advantages of the SAP MDG, and how the SAP MDG program functions at a high level. In our next tutorials, we will discuss in detail all the main features and benefits of SAP Master Data Governance. We will also discuss the high-level architecture of SAP Master Data Governance. There are different system deployment options available in MDG which we will discuss. We are also going to talk about how SAP MDG operates in the HANA environment, HANA's key benefits with MDG, dynamic landscapes of the MDG system and the Hybris PCM structure of the SAP Master Data Governance System. They all are very important features, used in most of the organizations. Don't miss our next part of the video overview of SAP MDG. Let's meet again in our next introductory tutorial. We have developed and designed, step-by-step -step process for all functional technical e-learning videos for SAP MDG, that will help you to learn quickly. Whether you need help for your organization business support, or you are looking for certifications in SAP MDG, we got your back. Visit our website, www.mysapskills.com, and find more details. Please subscribe our YouTube channel for all latest updates on e-learning videos. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook, and stay tuned with our latest news and broadcast. Links are given below in the descriptions. Thanks for watching.
Well, hello again. I'm pleased you're still with us. With MySAPSkills.com as your e-learning partner, we'll help you achieve an unsurpassed level of SAP excellence, no matter where you are in the world. In doing so, you'll elevate your career and your personal marketability. Visit MySAPSkills.com and sign up today. Be sure to keep an eye out for free tips, class updates, and promotional discounts, including rewards for social media sharing by visiting us on all our social media platforms, including Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Please be sure to subscribe and follow. Remember, that is MySAPSkills.com. We're ready to train you and to help you take your career to the next level.